Hello everyone, this is Nighthawk here and welcome back to Nighthawk Reacts. Today we are going to be reacting to two videos today because as of yesterday, Pokemon Presents released two new trailers for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. Now obviously, of course, right as they uploaded these, I had to go to work, so I wasn't able to react to these. Um, so I don't know what to expect, but from what I have seen, and by what I've seen is by tiny glimpses because as soon as something pops up on the internet or anything related to a certain topic that I enjoy, it's automatically thrown onto the internet and everyone is loving it. Uh, apparently we get to see some regional variants. I think these trailers are gameplay trailers and I th I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing the name of the region right, but I think it's called the Pelida or Pelida region. I'm not sure. They'll probably say it in the trailer. So, with that being said, let's kick these videos off. Okay, so, with that being said, let's begin. Also, I will remember to leave the original videos link in the description below if you guys want to check that out for yourselves. And as I'm looking at the actual first uh, screen, we see trailer does not reflect actual gameplay experience. The on-screen text and voiceovers are not present in-game. Okay, what does that mean? Ooh, we got some Growlithe and some Arcanine starting off strong with some... Are those Dealing and Saucebook? Houndoom and Houndour. Ooh! Regional variant, uh... Wooper! Okay. Okay. Attention, please. Today, we begin... The Treasure Hunt. What? Travel across Paldea. Oh, Paldea. Okay, that makes more sense. Paldea. Get to know the region. Ooh, okay. Whoa! Whoa! Okay! So, already starting off, uh, it looks like they're key- Well, like I said, this, this game will embody the aspects of open world, just like in Legends Arceus, but I think it might retain some of the old Pokemon, like, us. Well, actually, no, I think this is, like, I'm not sure if there are gym leaders or not, but if there are, then it would basically be taking over, like, you know, getting eight gym badges, battling a champion, but having the open world feature. Also, if my nose sounds a little bit stuffy, because I'm hearing it in my own head, every time I wake up, I've explained this in the past, I, my nose gets super, there's so much strange in the morning, but I like how they say that the trailer... But what we're seeing is not going to experience, or is de depending on how the, how your actual game experience is going to be. But I don't like the fact, because like they're saying that the, the invoice like game, like the invoice that they're saying right now, is not actually going to be in the game. Why not? Why would you not put that? I feel like that would be like another really cool thing to have to, I guess, make the story of Pokemon better. Actually giving these characters voices. That'd be so much better. The abundant nature. But also, like I was saying, when it comes to the aspects of Pokemon Legends Arceus, clearly these legendary Pokemon are... I'm not, I'm not even sure if they're being considered legendaries, because considering you can get them at the beginning of the game, it looks like, it looks like you're actually able to get them at the beginning of the game, but here's my uh, here's my thing. If they're if they're legendaries, but they're also ride Pokemon, and if you get them at the beginning of the game, why would you? Why would you? Because clearly, you're able to scale mountains, go across the the plains, and fly, which is basically some of the main three aspects that they had for Pokemon Legends Arceus. You had Sneasler for climbing mountains, Braviary for flying. And uh, Weird Deer for running across the field lens. So I guess they took out the features of multiple Pokemon, just merging them into one. But my question is, if these are the legendary Pokemon, why are we getting them so early on in the game? And if we do get them at like level 70, they're, they're, what? Just watch the trailer. The rich culture. Oh, the culture. 
I think they I think they said that this uh, region takes place in uh, Spain. I think it was Spain is where the thing takes place. It looks like our characters are going to school. The Pokemon. Wow. And the people. I gotta say, the Pokemon designs look a lot better. Yeah, these look like well. Where will you go? I don't know. Who will you meet? I don't know. What will you achieve? Who knows? What the heck is that thing? With you will be your Pokemon. Pokemon. Our starters. This journey together. Oh, they follow. <gasps> Oh, they follow you around, and they actually walk with you! Because in Pokemon Legends Arceus, you could just bring them out, but they wouldn't follow you. That, that was a missed opportunity there. Oh, but they can actually follow you now! Watch! Journey They're following you! Oh, thank God that's a thing! Because... And back in uh, Pokemon... Uh, what was it? I think it was it. Uh, Gen... Was it Gen 3 or Gen 4? Where in Pokemon Heart Gold and Soul Silver, or Pokemon Platinum, you could just bring your Pokemon out and they would follow you. I haven't seen that in like forever. But it also looks like you can race. I mean, you're definitely changing up the format, but if that's the case, then you're kind of making it too easy for us. Unless they're there. Learn together. Unless they're there just to be ride Pokemon, which they probably are. Learn together. Whoa. Find something to treasure. Whoa! Well, I take it that's the new mechanic that they've added because... First, you had Mega Evolution, then you had Z-Crystals, then you had Dynamax slash Gigantamax, and now, you have something else here, which I don't know what that is. Woo! -hoo! Let the treasure hunt begin! Available worldwide Friday, November 18th. Oh, okay. You know, I don't know what it is about Pokemon, but Pokemon games normally tend to come out in November. I don't know what it is, but... Okay. Okay. Receive a special Pikachu... Early purchase bonus. Receive a special Pikachu that can't be obtained through regular gameplay. Knows the move Fly has Flying Terra type. Available until Tuesday, February 28, 2023. Okay. Okay, now we're going to head on into the new, the other, uh, world overview. This, so the other video was like two minutes long. This one is six minutes long. This came out an hour ago. The newest titles in the Pokemon series are the Pokemon Scarlet. And oh, it looks like this is actually uh, a voiceover of what's actually happening. Okay, well, yeah, let's watch it. Pokemon Violet games. Okay. These titles will be open world RPGs, a first for the Pokemon series. Spr a, a first for the Pokemon series? Open world RPG? Um. So, did Legends of Arceus not count? <laughs> Hang on, it's hot in here. I gotta turn on the fan. So, wait, wait, hang on. Wait a minute. Hang on. You're telling me. That Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet is the is something completely new that we've seen an open world RPG for Pokemon. Does Legends Arceus not count? <laughs> Brawling landscapes and vibrant towns weave together to form the Paldea region. Paldea. Your new adventure will unfold. You know, what, in hindsight, I probably should have watched this one first, and then seen the or maybe not. Maybe I should have just watched this one. Set out in the back of the legendary Pokemon. Okay. These are the legendary Pokemon, Coridon and Miraidon. You'll rely on one of them as a partner in your adventure. Climb okay. on. 
and together you'll dash across grassy fields, move across water. Oh, there you go. And For glide through the sky. And climb mountains. Your partner can change forms as needed while you explore every nook and cranny of the region with them. A story you weave as you as you desire. Oh. You will be enrolling at a certain academy as a student. Okay. And a special independent study project awaits you. The treasure hunt. Through it, you'll embark on a journey to find treasure of your own here in Paldea. Okay. Three grand stories are waiting for you. One story will revolve around the familiar gym battles. You'll go to eight Pokemon gyms and aim for the champion rank. So wait, so they're saying that this game will have three stories you can choose from. So can you choose to do eight gym leaders? Potentially, maybe you could just... So, okay. So you basically... They're adding in some new features, but keeping some old features too. But I like that you can actually choose how you want to play the game. Because in the past, it's always been, get your starter Pokemon at 10 years old, get eight gym badges, become the champion, and then just do whatever the hell you want. Now, it looks like you can just do whatever you want, whenever you want. I mean, if I'm being honest... For me, whenever it comes to a Pokemon game, once I get done collecting the Pokedex, I'm just done. Because once I got done collecting the or catching every single Pokemon in Pokemon Sword and Shield, I was done with it. Then they released two DLCs. I got all the Pokemon there, done with it. I got Legends Arceus. I completed the Pokedex. I didn't, even though I didn't get all the the research level to ten for each one, I still got all the Pokemon. I completed the Pokedex. I haven't played it since then. And I know that you can find shiny Pokemon in there a lot easier, but I, this is this is. Hang on, I got I to hear that again. Spe specifically, what she said. Independent study project awaits you. The treasure hunt. Okay, Through it, you'll embark on a journey to find treasure of your own here in Paldea. Three grand stories are waiting for you. Three grand stories. One story will revolve around the familiar gym battles. You'll go to eight Pokemon gyms and aim for the champion rank. Thank God. In these games, there is no set path you must take when challenging the gyms. Because honestly, when it comes to the gym battles, I was okay with that. I honestly enjoyed the challenge of having to level up your Pokemon and beat the gym leader. Because I, I remember when I used to play Pokemon back in the day. And every time I tried to beat the gym leader, I thought I was strong enough that then they'd come out with some BS move or strategy and just wipe my whole team. And I'm like... It would make me want to try and level up more. Okay. Chart your very own course along Victory Road. What is that thing? Set. Set Titan? I want. I mean, it has Titan in it, so. Sea Titan? Is it supposed to be a play on words of Satan, Sea Titan? Probably. The other two stories you'll experience hold many surprises and discoveries as well. Okay. Which story will you begin with? How will you progress through them? It is all up to you. Okay, so that's another question of mine. My question is, well, if you're getting, if you're getting the gym battles and you can d d like do your own thing, but now, see, here's what I'm wondering. Well, I would say, why are they, like, the, there's three different things that you can do. Or, like, there's three different, like, main stories you can take. But they only tell us the gym battle, the gym leaders and stuff. So, are they keeping the other two a secret? Probably. But, can you also just do all three at the same time? I mean, could you, or do you have to do, like, well, you can play it however you want. So, I'm assuming you could do a gym leader thing, and then you could do one of the other stories, and then do, or do the other one, and then just circle back around. If that and if that's the case, this game could be long. <laughs> Professor Sada and Professor Churro, okay. research legends passed on in the Paldea region. Mr. Clavel is the director of the academy you'll attend. Okay. And Mr. Jacques is your homeroom teacher <laughs> who teaches biology. Jacques, Professor Jacques, I love that. Biology. Jacques. You'll have your battle-loving friend, Nimona. Nimona. 
Pneumonia. And you'll meet Arvin, an upperclassman and a great cook. Okay. There's also Penny, a shy student in your grade. Who also almost has, uh, well, if you split down the middle and change to right, Todoroki hair. There are gym leaders, too. Like Grusha, the ice-type gym leader. Grusha? The people you meet in Paldea are sure to enrich your adventures. The Pokemon of the Pal Paldea region, okay. Many different species of Pokemon also call the Paldea region home. Ooh, hello, Rotom. This Pokemon is the Paldean regional form of Wooper. It lives on the land and covers its body with a poisonous film. Oh, so is it poisoning ground? It might be poisoning ground. Oh my god, who is this Pokemon? Fido, our delightfully squishy Pokemon that- Fido, is it a normal and fairy type? Fido, are you- You're not even trying with names anymore. That are smooth to the touch. And here's Satitan. Satitan! has a large body and a hard horn that can freeze its surroundings. Satitan. Of course, we I want, also have- I want to guess that one's- I want to say ice and steel, or maybe water and steel. No, it's, it's got to be ice. It's got to be either ice or steel, or ice and dragon. I could probably see ice and steel. The Pokemon from which you'll choose your first partner. Sprigatito. Sprigatito. Quaycoco. And Quaxley. Quaxley. Okay. Enjoy meeting lots of Pokemon. And complete your Pokedex as part of your- I do like when you throw the Pokeball, it's actually going to show, like, it being sucked into the Pokeball. Because in previous games, it hasn't shown that. I'll show you what I mean. Needing lots of Pokemon. And complete- See, like this, I don't think that's been in previous Pokemon games. Or maybe it has, and I just wasn't paying attention, but maybe that that's all, like, new. Your Pokedex so I... as part of your adventure. And also, it looks like the Pokeballs have like better designs to them. Or like they're more, they're more slick. They're cleaner. Lechunk. Even more fun with multiplayer. I use. Okay, let's be honest. When it comes to multiplayer, I, no one. Who's gonna do multiplayer with this? I mean, don't get me wrong. I have a feeling that as soon as the game comes out, and you know. Because, see, here's the thing. I can see how hard the Pokemon company is trying to get uh, tr uh, people back into playing Pokemon. But, I don't, I just don't think it's working. It, it, that's the problem. I feel like it's trying to draw in the audience of younger, newer players. So, actual kids who are 10 years old and want to play it. But kids nowadays don't want to play Pokemon because they think it's stupid. They don't They don't like it. Now, granted, the anime has not gotten any better. In my opinion, the anime has kind of gone downhill. Uh, the newest series, Pokemon Journeys, yeah, it's, it's terrible in English dub. Every time I watch it, I want to die. <laughs> because it, it makes... It, it just doesn't sound good. And it sounds a lot better in Japanese dub. Or, uh, English dub. I mean, with English, with English subtitles, you know what I mean. If you watch it in Japanese with English subtitles, it sounds so much better. But, I don't feel like this is trying to gain the audience. I mean, don't get me wrong. This version of Pokemon does seem interesting. And considering that you can play however you want, Clearly shows that Pokemon is just done trying to come up with new things. Just letting us play however we want. So that's kind of cool. Using the Union Circle, you can enjoy co-op play with the up Union to three circle. friends. The Union Circle. We're fucking Union. <laughs> you can go look for Pokemon you haven't yet discovered. That's cool. Or even ride together to race across the map. Yeah, but it actually helps if you have friends to play the game with. Now, don't get me wrong. There's multiplayer. I would not be surprised if it also involved, if that also went along with uh, playing online. Now, if they've taken out that feature of playing online and you can just play multiplayer, I, I don't know. Enjoy all the Paldea region has to offer with family and friends. The mysterious terrestrial phenomenon. Terrestrial. 
Wait, what? The terrestrial phenomenon. Oh, makes the terrestrial. What the f what the hell? The terrestrial phenomenon. What's Pokemon shine like gems? Yeah, it makes them shine like gems, but what's the point? What does it do? All Pokemon in the Paldea region are able to terrestrialize, which can provide a boost to a Pokemon's type and make its moves stronger. Oh, so in a way, it yeah, so basically these just these just basically make their moves stronger and increases like their type, right? So that's kind of like a mix of Gigantamax. I know that that's basically kind of like a mix of Dynamax and Z Crystal. Some Pokemon will change type when they terrestrialize. What? What type they become seems to depend on that Pokemon's Terra type. Oh, so I guess now Pokemon can just change type now when they ter terrestrialize. That is not a sentence I think I'd be saying out of my mouth at like 7 o'clock in the morning. For example, an Eevee would typically remain normal type after terrestrializing, but there could be Eevee that become grass or water type after terrestrializing. You know what, I guess that would kind of add a bit of mystery to it because if other, other NPCs in the game have the ability to do this, I'd imagine the gym leaders would be able to do this. But let's say you have a Pokemon geared up and ready to fight it, and then it terrestrializes and it has a whole new type, and then your whole your whole uh, plan is foiled. So we hope you'll try to catch Pokemon with rare Terra types. Terra raid. Okay, so so they've added raid battles back, which honestly, I thought the raid battles was kind of dumb in Pokemon Sword and Shield. I mean, it was really cool to have like the Pokemon. Dynamax and stuff like that, and you can catch them and stuff, but it only really worked if the actual amount of people want to don't want to do it. I still refuse to believe that it's this is just multiplayer. There's got to be some online factor where you can play on, like if you're connected to internet or have like the oh what's it called the Nintendo Switch Plus or something pass where you can play online. And you can play with others. That has to be a feature. I don't. I I I don't know. Pokemon that have rare Terra types are more likely to appear in Terra raid battles. You can challenge Terra Pokemon in these battles with up to three other trainers. Okay. This is a new kind of raid battle where you can attack or heal with your own timing without having to wait for your allies. That's better! You can attack at your own time. That's actually a lot better because the previous raid battles where you had to attack, wait for others to attack, and then go back to your turn, and then for you to get knocked out by the Pokemon that you're battling, and everyone else gets knocked out, that's, mo that's so much better. That's what they should have done in Pokemon Sword and Shield. It's a raid battle. You, no, everyone gets, you can attack at your own time. That's better. I like that. Try to cooperate with your allies to get the upper hand in these battles. I like it. I like it. After you successfully defeat a Terra Pokemon, you'll get the opportunity to catch it for yourself. Just like in every other raid battle from the past uh, Sword and Shield game. Okay. Okay. We've kept all the things you love about Pokemon while evolving the adventure you can have in Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. That's true. Yeah, I will admit that, yeah. We hope you look forward to the day you set out on your adventure. Okay. I have to admit, I'm actually glad that they had the world overview. I probably should have watched this one instead. So... It was very interesting. I like that we actually got to see all these new features. They kept actually, like I said, they kept some of the old features of what we liked about the game and then just evolved, evolved some stuff upon it. Pre-orders are now at participating retailers and on Nintendo eShop. Oh, so technically, if you wanted to go buy it on the Nintendo eShop, or like, if you wanted to pre-order on the Nintendo eShop, you can do that now. 
Or if you want to go to like your local GameStop or Walmart or anywhere that sells these games, uh, you can pre-order them now. Okay. Um, I don't know which... I, I You know what? Considering that... <sighs> Well, there's, see, here's the see, here's the problem with it. There's two games. There's two games. There's going to be re or not regional variants, but game exclusives. There'll be some Pokemon that you can get in Scarlet that you can't get in Violet, and vice versa. There are some Pokemon that you can get in Violet that you can't get in Scarlet. That's why. That's one of the reasons why I don't like Pokemon. Just make one game, and just call it Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. Make it one game and just show both the legendaries on the cover. You know what? That's what they. Sh you know what? That's what they should do. Instead of making two games, like because most of the time the games are basically the same. The games are the same, and if they are the same with just some different version of Pokemon in it. Why don't you just make one game that has that's called Pokemon Scarlet and Violet? One game, the cover is split in the middle with both the legendaries on it. But when you when you load up the game, you can choose: Do you want to play on Scarlet or do you want to play on Violet? If you play on Scarlet, you can play Pokemon on there, and if you don't want to play over there, you can go over to Violet. <laughs> Problem solved. Just do that, and I understand for financing financial reasons they got to bring out more stuff to keep the thing up and going. So. And then there are people who are like, well, I don't know if I want to do this one or I want to do that one. Which one do I want to do? Do I want to do Scarlet? Do I want to do Violet? And then they can't decide in the middle and then they ended up getting both games. So, and considering, again, I don't really have a whole lot of friends that play Pokemon. And, well, hopefully by the time I go to college, well, this game will be out by the time I go to college. But maybe I'll meet some friends who actually like to play Pokemon there. But for the time being... I know I said I wanted to do Scarlet, but I'm actually thinking about going to Violet. But if but but it's coming out in November, so by that time, if I'm still working at where I'm working, um, shit, I'll just buy them both. <laughs> I'll, I'll just buy them both and just get it done with. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's uh, all the new stuff for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. This this was a this was a very long video. I apologize for the video being so long. But this was more likely just a rant of me just going on about all the different things about Pokemon and how I feel about Pokemon because I know I'm I know I'm almost twenty, but I still like Pokemon. It's 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 something that to me it's something that's nice and wholesome I can just relax with. Anyway, that's gonna be it for today's episode of uh, Nighthawk Reacts. Uh, with that being said, if you guys like this video, I'm uh, I was trying to work on my outro. What am I doing? If you just you guys have an amazing day. You guys know the out. You guys know the rest. I will see you guys in the next video. I'm still working on that. I still haven't figured it out. I will figure it out.